Welcome back, everybody, to another Ben Plays a Demo. It's Shapes 2. I played a bit of this game earlier just to check it out, and I am obsessed with this game. I might be a Factorio nerd. I've never played Factorio, but this game is, like, it's very addicting. We're going to jump in here. You'll see exactly what it's about. It's all about making shapes into the right shape and then, uh, and then chucking those into a hole. I'm, uh, I'm, I played a bit of it, and I got so absorbed, and I was like, I should probably record this. It's got to generate a map for us. Every map is unique. Welcome, operator, to the Vortex platform. To advance in your role as an operator, you need to complete research goals by delivering shapes directly to the Vortex. Completing them grants you upgrades, new structures, and more challenging goals. If you have any doubts or questions, you can call up further information at any time. The knowledge panel can be accessed by pressing G. The plans lie in wait. It is time to continue. All right, so first of all, we want to start extracting shapes. We will extract a bunch of circles. I'm going to delete these. They're just kind of in the way. So we'll, we want to chuck a bunch of circles into, into the vortex here, just to start with. We can go back at any time. You can undo with control Z, redo with control Y. The, the, the controls are all very slick. Like I, I, if I found them to be very intuitive. We can merge cell uh, belts if we would like. Go like so. Go like that. We can get really crazy with the belts. We'll just undo that. I like having them all separated for now. Look at the keyboard hotkeys. The main goal, we need to get 10 circles into the vortex here. My one critique... And maybe this is like all about the efficiency of the game is I wish you could speed up time, but maybe that's the whole point is, is if you're a really efficient builder, then you don't have to speed up time because you've built things so quickly. <laughs> Cause I guess if you could speed up time, you could just spider web your way across the entire map. All right, we've unlocked the half destroyer. It cuts our shape in half and then uh, spits out only half the shape. So, now we want to throw in half of a square. Start extracting the squares. We would like to place six half destroyers according to the tutorial. I didn't actually do that when I first did that. Oops. You can split belts out, like so. The nice thing about this game, and maybe this is the case with all... Factorio-esque games is uh, maybe it's it's really intuitive when things are building up inefficiencies because like here you can see this thing is is stacking up parts all the way back to the extractor. Vortex accepts any rotation. That's really nice because, like, if this is rotated this way, it all depends on which way your camera is facing, right? Right now, it's facing this orientation. However, if we rotate it this way, now all of a sudden these are on the bottom. But that doesn't matter because it, it, it's still the correct shape overall. So we'll go ahead and let these deliver. So if we really wanted to be efficient with it, each of these extractors would have two cutters on them because these are not capable of keeping up with the full pace of an extractor. Two cutters is, one cutter is not. We've unlocked the next thing, which is the 90 degree rotator. So the next thing we want to deliver is a quarter of a circle, which is pretty straightforward. Just a couple rotations and cuttings. So we'll go one, two, three, four, rotate. Coming right out of the cutter. And then I think we'll just slap down another cutter. And eventually you'll get a rotator that goes the other direction. But you don't have to rotate it again because we've already... We've reached the acceptance criteria, which is just a single... A single guy. Uh, and actually what we might want to do here is undo... What I want to do here actually is move this down... 
down here, and then we want to split off. Actually, we can. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. We we can come over here. You see how we have this secondary objective here? We can just achieve that along these side routes. We'll just cut that in half, like so. And that way, we can, and we can actually just kick these onto the same belt here. Even though they're different shapes, doesn't really matter. Everything will be delivered all at the same time. All right, so we'll let that go. This one's just throwing shapes into the into the void. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. If, uh, you tear down and rebuild a lot in this game. At least I do. Maybe maybe you won't. Uh, unlock. We've unlocked the stacker. This is when things get really exciting. Or, uh, we've unlocked the second floor, I should say. So we can start to build belts all over the place. We want to build the stacker now. Which is pretty straightforward. All we need to do here is, um... We need to rotate these guys... As they come off of that belt. And then we just need to cut them in half again. Like so. And that'll kick that in there. The cutting speed will keep going. Belt speed we would like to get as well, but we just need to grab normal squares to do that. Oh, whoops. So we'll go ahead and rotate you two, you two, and we'll just spit them out along the sides here. Oops, not like that. We'll spit them out along the sides here, and then we'll just kick them onto the belt at the very end as well. Like this. Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. So if we want to go up and down... Oh, we've collected cutting speed, which is good. That means these guys will go faster. So if we wanted to go up and down, for example, we would come over here, hold this, hit E, and then you can drag across and then come back down with Q. We, w we don't want to do that, but if you did want to do that, that's how you do that. It took me a second to figure out in my... When I was just messing around with it. The other thing that that's really helpful, and the game will tell you this later, is if you want to draw your own pattern, just hit C every time you want to make a turn. If you want to, like, ignore doing a thing, just hit right click and it, it goes away. But I want to do hit C here and then draw that onto that belt there. Uh, we got the stacker. So this is when you start to make really crazy shapes. So we'll have to bring shapes up and down and then drop them on top of the shape below. So we need to drop a circle on top of a square to get the this guy here, the other nine, the counterclockwise rotator. We would also like to get a uh, cutter that separates this shape in half rather than just destroying half of the shape. In order to do that, we need to cut a square in half we need to cut a circle in half, and then we need to combine the two. So what we want to do here is I'm actually going to kick... Instead of kicking all of the squares onto this this belt over here, I'm going to let these squares continue to go. They're, they're stacking up, so it's going to be a little inefficient, but that's fine. We, we're, we have other things to work on. So what I want to do is I'm going to take these two circles here, half circles, that is, and then bring them over... And they will get combined. Oh, we need to turn these into half squares as well. So we'll do that on the way over. So you guys come up over here. Honestly, we should probably give ourselves a little more space to work with. And I want to cut you in half. And then I want to cut the other square in half as well. So like this. Now the whole point of this is to try and rotate this square twice so it'll be on the other side and then we're going to lift it up to get onto the second floor like so oops <laughs> like this 
And then we're gonna put the stacker along this side. So we'll have one, uh, we gotta go down the floor. There we go, one, two, three, four. Go back up to the second level. So what this'll do is now we will be dropping our squares onto the circles below. And then we just need to punch the circles in into the machines as well. Whoops, not like that. And then we'll just uh, kick those onto the same belt. I guess we could have done that a, a ways back, but... There. Now, and now we just need to output into the vortex. I'm sure there are people who are really good at Factorio that are like, you're doing it all wrong. The nice thing about this game though is it's e fairly easy to see what's gone wrong and, and try and fix it. Now, the other thing that's really helpful is holding shift and then like area clearing. So now we wanna just take our circles from this side Let's add another circle. And now we wanna set up stacking a circle on top of a square. So these guys are already set up to be squares, right? Oop, I don't wanna do that. Oopsies. Here, you go in there. I want to de delete you two here. Cause we still want the squares. And then we just wanna set up stackers over here. So this is like one, two, three, four. I, I like to look at things in the top down view. It works better for my brain. Um, so the square needs to be on bottom. So you can you can click on the shape up here to to tell you exactly how it should be laid out. So we're gonna put these two over here, kick these onto this belt over there. We'll stack you guys up like so. And then we need to bring our circles all the way over here. And then the circles need to rise up and reach the top of the stacker. Like this. And then these will kick out into the vortex like this. And that way, like, I could throw them all onto the same track, but, uh, I like to keep things separated. You can always combine them easier later. Separates the west half from of any shape from the east half, which is kind of cool. Um, later we'll get into, there's, like, these asteroids out here, so we're mining, like, basic shapes right now. When we get into these asteroids, you can get to start, get into advanced shapes. And then you could, you might possibly be more efficient to separate shapes from each other rather than just destroying part of it. So the squares are all ready to go. Whoops. There we go. Squares are all ready to go. The circles are getting out here. It'll be interesting to see how the efficiency here stacks up. It's got to like work backwards from, from where it's set up. So this is where I'm like, I wish I could fast forward. But, <laughs> but that's kind of the point of the game, I guess. So these guys are all ready to go. It looks like the, the limiting reagent over here is the cut in half circle, which does kind of make sense because we have two lanes. Oh, I realize why. Because we only have one lane of circles feeding two, two uh, rows. And we, could, we can efficient make that just more efficient. It's almost done. Um, but we might as well just have a, se a separate lane of circles, like so. Especially now that the cutter speed has been improved, it's not as important to have uh, two cutters per one extractor. So that should, that should boost the output over here as well and have this catch up. And now these guys are coming out, great news. We only need 80 of them, so this should come out pretty fast. 
And the, it looks like the circles and the squares are keeping up just fine with the the stackers. There's not really any efficiency to be gained uh, in either of those. What we could do is add even more stackers to, to really boost this, but by the time the stackers like flush backwards, this will probably be done anyway. Oh, I realize. <laughs> I just realized something. The only thing that uh, the the thing that belt speed was waiting on is actually just main squares. So what we're gonna do actually is just delete this whole segment here. Right click, and then we're just gonna reconnect the belts here. That's my bad. <laughs> For some reason, I thought it was the half circle, half square that that was doing the belt speed upgrade. So these upgrades you gonna you want to keep an eye on is like things will will move a third or 50 percent faster than they currently are so right now everything's balanced around this the current speed that it's at but as you upgrade the speed you just kind of have to keep an eye on what does that do for your system all right we've unlocked the other 90 degree rotator the nice thing about that is now we won't have to rotate like four times to get it around and uh so we could do if we needed to get the thing rotated to the right direction you can uh, rotate the opposite direction now so now we want, need to make this uh, three by circle thing. So we need to set up, this one's doing just fine. We'll let this one conclude and then we'll build the stacking speed uh, thing uh, built there. What we can do here actually is this one's already set up to build the trash. We just need to rotate our circles to land on top of the square. So to do that, we'll just rotate twice. So the circle is is opposite, and then it then it'll land on top of the square and unlock the trash. We've unlocked belt speed, so we can come over here. We'll we'll leave that alone. We don't need to to do that much. We'll delete that, and now what we need to do is we need to cut you. I don't want to do it like that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something a little different. So we're gonna, we're actually gonna divide like so, and then we can put, press F to mirror it. And that what this does is it gives two halves to the square. So then what we need to do is rotate you, cut with a normal cutter, and that gives us a square. And then we need to bring a stacker in here. Uh, we'll do it like, do I want to do this? I think we should do it like this. F. There we go. So they're mirrored. And now what we need to do is we need to lift this guy up. Same thing with this guy. Up. And then drop that onto the L piece below. But the L piece needs to be rotated. Uh, that direction. Yes. And then we'll funnel that straight into our stacker. And then this one's just going to kick it out directly onto the belts. So that should be correct. Let's see how it comes out here. L. Yes. Yep. Perfect. So we'll just let those feed. It's going to be a little bit of a slower belt since we only have, uh, so many squares coming out of there and they're a little slower but I think that's fine. It's not our primary objective, so we'll, it's fine to just let that one go. Uh, the trash. Oh no! <laughs> See, this is what, where you have to pay attention to the details. I forgot that our squares were the ones being stacked on top. So let's go ahead and redo this from just back here. We'll, we'll do just fine. We just need to, to re... replace where there we go kind of a spider web there but I think that'll work out we just need to replace which one is getting stacked on top of the other one so just like so we'll solve the problem there we go cool 
The stagging speed's working, trash should be working shortly, and then blueprints is the next one. So we want to reconfigure this guy to make blueprints work. I think that's the easiest for us since we have a full circle uh, coming in and then we have a, a square coming in that we can chop up as well. So first thing to do that, I think it makes the most sense to split the circle. Oops. And we'll hit F to, to mirror that. So we'll split the circle, move it over, and then we want to destroy half of the circle, like so. And then we, oh, <laughs> we need to rotate it before we destroy half the circle. Otherwise, we're not getting anything out of it. There we go. So now we'll have a, a nub that we then need to rotate back to be able to attach it to the new half circle that's coming out of there. So the way we want to do this, you can stack either of them on top of the other. It doesn't really matter. But I think we'll set it up like here. And then we'll have this guy come in on the bottom. We'll have this guy go up. Whoops. Up. And then that will spit out a, this, uh, this blueprint here. That'll come over here. And then this needs to have a square coming in in the right direction. So we need a square to end up in this bottom left corner, at least in the orientation that we're currently looking at. So the best way to do that, we'll cut this guy in half, and then we'll rotate it the opposite direction, like so. Cut that guy in half, and then we'll rotate it again, like that. And then we'll, this will slowly fit, feed in here. We've got the stacking speed, great. Trash should be done shortly. And then these two are gonna stack up eventually to build uh, this output. The nice thing is you can come down to the end here and see like, what is your current configuration going to spit out for you? We've unlocked trash. That I don't know exactly why you would do trash. Um, maybe, maybe it makes sense. Um, the one time I've used trash is to like clear out a line uh, before I start building something new, but I don't know if that's super uh, necessary. So this one's a little weird because right now the, the limiting factor is our circles coming in here, so they're a little slow. So I think what we want to do is you can actually... Um, Oh, we haven't unlocked blueprints yet. So later, what, what's really nice is you can, uh, once you've unlocked blueprints, you can just highlight by control or shift, shift left clicking, highlight like a section, control C, and then you can just copy paste a machine essentially that you've already built. In order for us to do that, um, we'll have to do this the old fashioned way, which is rebuild it ourselves. So we'll just have one line building things. And then we'll we'll set it up ourselves. You have to do it just build it again essentially, which is not such a big deal. And then a stacker. And then this guy has to go up, feed the stacker from from the top. This one has to feed the stacker from below. And then we can just kick that onto the same belt because this belt is not very full. <laughs> this one you can see is, is just backed up waiting for more circles to show up. So now we're getting the right shapes. They're just coming very, very slowly. So we wanted to increase our output as much as we could so we could start building even more blueprints because the only thing we're waiting on right now is blueprints. So this stuff is all superfluous right now. We're not really doing anything with it. We're still backed up with the number of circles coming out of here. So honestly, we could, if you really wanted to be efficient, you would probably build two of these machines here to, for each of these rows coming out of the extractor. Um, the way we have, have it set up now, it would be hard to fit an, <laughs> I should have built this one over one. Uh, and then I could have fit four machines in here to really pump out, uh, the amount of stuff coming out of there. 
but while we're waiting, I might as well build another machine. I'm not... I won't be able to fit another one on this machine, just because it... I guess I could get really crazy and try to, uh... Get up, like, build a second machine on the next level, because there's two levels. And then, like, feed a stacker from, from elsewhere. It's a little tricky to do that. My brain is is struggling to to comprehend how to do that, so I'm just gonna build another another guy. By the time I've done this, it might be already done, but uh, I'm just sitting here waiting anyway. So why not? And everything's free. Like you don't spend resources. That's that's actually really nice about this game is you don't spend resources trying to to build stuff. So you can like tear down. And rebuild as much as you want which is really nice at least for me I feel like in a I don't I feel like in Factorio it requires you to spend resources to build stuff I've I've I played Factorio like once so <laughs> I'm, I might be I'm definitely speaking from a perspective of ignorance but uh I, I like that you can just tear down rebuild and it's it's there's no resource cost, so you can just do whatever you want. You can get really spider webby with it. You could just be have the most inefficient machine ever, and it, it, you just decide, you know what? That's good. I'm gonna let it ride. <laughs> so I I think that's what's really nice about this kind of a, an optimization game is you can you can get as crazy with it as you see fit, which is cool. But once you unlock the blueprint things get start to go really quick you're like oh i built this really great machine i want five of them uh or five more of them so then you just copy paste bam 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 and then it's uh it's pretty slick there's actually blueprint points and we'll see in in a couple of seconds here when we we get uh the appropriate stuff out oh and we've actually hit a limiting factor of our squares now so what we'd want to do here is build even more of these guys so we've just unlocked blueprints Allows you to copy and paste, pretty st standard. So what I would want to do here, because our squares are actually holding up production now, just one, two, three, throw those down there, and then have them spit onto the belts over here. So now all of a sudden we've tripled our capacity, and maybe it, it doesn't really matter back here. So we'll let the belt speed continue to roll. It's the it's the correct shape for that. We want to get cutting speed, and then uh, swapper is just like a circle shape. That one's actually really fun because we've already got this kind of set up over here. So let's go ahead and area clear. And I think what we need to do here is just swap you two and rotate the opposite direction. Oh, I do need to have that cutter still. Whoops. Cut. And then you rotate the opposite way. So you're cutting in half. Oh, I could actually just rotate it the opposite way from back here. More efficient. Oops. Uh, Control-Z. So if you, un uh, if you accidentally delete stuff you don't want to destroy, just undo. Very nice. Uh, but we would like to rotate this direction. Have the cutter spit out that guy, and then rotate that one the opposite direction. Instead of having a rotation that we undo later. Now, now we need to combine these two together. So we want a stacker here, and here should be fine. It doesn't matter which one goes on top and which one goes on bottom. But we do need to lift you up, like so. And the same thing here. There. And then come back. And then just spit this out into the void. There we go. So now we have this this swapper configuration going right into the, to the machine. Space platforms is the next one we want to do. That one is very interesting because we already have the L set up here. But we need to get a circle over to it. So what I would probably do here is I would actually cut these guys off. And then these ones in the middle actually don't even belong to anybody. But I would cut those off, raise this over, 
bring it back down, and then just bring a secondary line. Or maybe I would just leave those alone and I would bring circles all the way over to it. Hmm. So you are doing something. You're generating blueprint points for me. So you need blueprint points to be able to copy and paste. So I would honestly just leave this machine alone. That one's doing fine. Oh. The belt is not connected. How about there? <laughs> it misses the first machine, but I think that's fine. All right, so the swapper's going. Cutting speed we haven't generated yet. The, sw the cutting speed one is is interesting because we could take this m this uh, component that we're spitting into the void and then just bring that over and, and do a similar thing with squares. Honestly, we might want to reconfigure this guy since it's not really doing anything for us right now. Let's go ahead and area clear this like so. Oops, right click, get rid of all that. And you guys, so I need you to cut you in half, rotate, cut you in half again. And then I need that circle, that, that bit to end up on these triangle pieces here. This triangle, or a uh, triangle, this L piece needs to get cut in half, or not cut in half, rotated. And this needs to get fed into the bottom of a stacker over here. And we'll put the stackers one, two, three, four. I think that makes sense. Excuse me? That's a weird one. <laughs> Why is it like touching the back of this guy? That's so weird. I hate it. There. And then you come around. Perfect. And then we need the sir this this guy to get fed all the way over here. Like such. Raise it up and attach. Raise it up and attach. Cool. So that one should spit out the correct thing for space, space platforms. Belt speed is going. Cutting speed, we could take this guy and uh, we, <laughs> we could even like spit out even more circles at the back to make this work. These guys are all stacked up waiting for circles. Honestly, maybe we do that since I got nothing else to do back here. Let's get this last guy configured, just so I can say I did it. So we'll bring this guy around. And bring it over here. And I need only the first part of this. Oh, actually, I want to do this differently. Oh no, this is, this is how I want it. I guess this is, uh... You know what? I could have I could have just split it with the the other thing. I think it's fine. We'll we'll set this up like this. So we're going to split that guy in half. We're going to rotate both of them. We're going to cut those like this. We're going to rotate you like that. So the whole point is to get this guy right here, right? So then we need to stack these two. So up, in there, spit you out, oops, that's on the second level. We need to spit this guy out here, and then this will feed, oops, that's too far. Good job, Swapper. See, I could I could just go over here and steal this guy and then feed it into my square machine, but I, I like what I'm doing better. So we have squares lying around over there. We need to do the exact same thing to the square that we just did with the circles so we'll just take the same machine run it over here and now we have uh a square that needs to rotate one more time and then we'll put 
some stackers. I guess the, the one downside of what I did over here is now it's going to feed into a region that is swamped with uh, already being fed with a, a different shape. So I we'll actually have to spider web that back around over here uh, to, to fix that. But that's fine. Uh, you'll, you'll just kind of see how this works. So that will get rotated. That can go straight into the bottom. this guy these guys need to go up into the top and then these can get spit out and ideally you would have set this up on a, a region of the thing that isn't actually feeding into the machine this one I haven't actually found a way to make work yet but I really like the idea behind it um, I haven't tried it with anything but we would just go over here then and then feed it into into this side of the machine. It's stupid, especially because it's inefficient. Um, but uh, I, I that you get the idea. So belt speed is along the way. Space platforms is going. Um, yeah, that's been shapes too. I've I absolutely love this game. It's just the demo, which is like I think they said it was like the first two hours of the game. You should definitely check it out if it seems like it's your thing. I could definitely see myself sinking just like tens of if not hundreds of hours into this game just because I love the the really light puzzle aspects of it we haven't even gotten into the other mining but basically what happens is you you build more platforms over here that allow you to extract these shapes specifically and then you just can ki uh, continue to cut rotate and stack uh, until you achieve the correct the correct shape that you need to spit into the vortex here and I'm sure there's other buildings that that get more complex as you go but anyway, this has been Shapes 2. I, I hope you guys liked it. If you did enjoy the video, click the like button and it helps me out a lot. If you want to see more videos or other demos that I could play during the Steam Next Fest, my other videos series that I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.